Hey guys, Lake Guy here. Today I'm going to take you through some of the coolest trading tools uh, that I use, some of them in my daily driver. Uh, I'm not going to waste any time with BS lame tools. I'm only going to show you the elite tools, the good tools, the ones that all the professional Bitcoin traders are using, and no fluff. Here we go. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the only way to be featured in this list was to have a tool that was totally, completely free or have a free version. And in fact, most of them uh, are completely free. Uh, we'll start. Uh, okay. Uh, 4chan Biz. Uh, 4chan Biz. 4chan is a uh, an image board uh, on the internet that is often considered sort of the sewer of the internet. There's a lot of really bad language used here. Um, it's definitely not PC content, but they've got a, a board here that called Biz, B-I-Z, that is all about uh, cryptocurrencies, crypto coins. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, geez, there's some funny stuff on here. But you got to uh, you got to take this stuff with a grain of salt. It's like 30% entertainment, 30% poo-poo posting, and 30% maybe real info. Um, that said, there's some interesting things that are said. Good coins get shelled here sometimes. Um, other interesting things happen here. Check out Biz. Um, actually, yeah, the, re the reason why I wanted to do this this video was because I made a thread there um, just asking people, you know, what trading tools do you really like? And I got some great responses. So let's just go through some of them I added to this video. Okay, so first up, this is a tool that I put together just myself. Actually, the code that I found for it was in GitHub. It's by this guy named Quickfingers Luke, and he's got some really interesting content. You should you should check him out. I, I I like what I see. I haven't gone too deeply on it, but hat tip to Quickfingers Luke. Um, so basically, with CryptoWatch.net, what I wanted to do was have um, specific charts, trading view charts, and nine of them. That's what I like. Uh, up in one screen and I like to have the BSD BTC USD longs versus BTC USD shorts here at the bottom and I like to have uh, I like to have a looking like this everything comes up default in the hourly chart you can easily change it to the one minute chart or whatever you want if you wanted to do that um, up here at the top if you want to change the width to two it'll do like this um, I much prefer three by three looks great uh, if you want to go to the light charts you can go to the light charts and there's some other features here if you click the add charts uh, button you'll get a list of charts and their orders um, you can get rid of the toolbar allow symbol changes uh, you can use smaller buttons yeah I should have that now with this, I'm, I plan on adding a bunch of new features. There's some issues with the, mo the mobile app, so I plan on working on this, but for now, it's quite useful. I've been using this in my daily drive. Yeah, so next up is, we were just talking about CryptoWatch.net, but this is the original CryptoWatch. Uh, their URL is like this, and what I really like about using CryptoWatch or what I use it for is under the exchanges, I don't know, let's go to Bittrex. We'll look at the BTC USD pair. Um, so you can see the order book of anywhere, and I really love that. So, you know, you can kind of see where the walls are, see where the orders are placed, and you can get an idea of what's going on with the order books around the different exchanges. Um, that's Crypto Watch. Very, very useful. Yeah, that leads me to TradingView. TradingView is probably, without a doubt, the best um, software online for looking at charts. Um, I think the, the amount of indicators that they have and all the other features just make it stand head and shoulders above the rest. Like here, let's throw on an indicator. We'll throw on everyone's favorite. We'll throw on Stochastic or SI. So you can see down at the bottom that my indicator is here now. You can move it, kind of shrink it down. And yeah, it's just beautiful. Like let's, uh, let's throw in the MACD. Now, with the free version of TradingView, you're allowed to have up to two indicators. But um, honestly, there's so many great features with TradingView, uh, including alerts. Alerts is really, really wonderful. Um, you can actually, you, you can actually add your own custom indicators with PineScript. Um, people share their indicators. It's just 
It's a really, really great social platform as well as a charting platform. But I would recommend if you're a serious trader, you're trading any serious amount of money to get a pro account. You, you get the alerts and you get a lot of other great features that just aren't available with the free version, um, including being able to use more than two indicators, which is important. Um, also, other indicators might be locked, like the volume profile. Very, very useful. You need the pro account. I actually have a pro account, but I'm just not logged in at the moment. So trading view, I mean, if you saw the CryptoWatch.net app that I have or a website, you know, these are trading view charts. Okay, and that's my favorite charting software, so that's why they're there. Let's uh, go to the next one, right? This is Clark Moody. Clark Moody is a free tool. Um, uh, I'm using their ticker tool. They have some other, uh, some other tools, but this is their tickers tool. Basically, the point of this is to show you the price of Bitcoin in USD for a plethora of exchanges, really. Uh, by the way, when you first open it, it's going to come with all the exchanges showing or most of them. So just turn them all off. And I mean, it's completely up to you who you want to look at. But I'll tell you from experience, Bitflyer should be in that list. Bitmax you might want to put in the list. Um, going down here, oh, Coinbase. I forgot to add Coinbase. Bitstamp you're going to want in that list. Uh, I've got CEX.io just for fun. Gemini. Gemini's become a big player. That, of course, is Winklevoss Twins Exchange. Kraken. Just for old time's sake. Sometimes funny things happen on Kraken. Um, Quadriga 6. I've got that just because I'm in Canada. So, yeah, the idea behind Clark Moody is that you can spot, you can even spot arbitrage opportunities, but you can spot premiums or or, or bargain prices on on crypto or every you know on other exchanges so like here I can see that Korea has like what at least a you know $300 premium I mean a bit more so that's really what collect Moody's for yeah if you look along the left here you'll notice that you know it's showing you the price of coin at all all these exchanges and it'll show you where they are in the list depending on how high the price is Really, really useful. Here's your time frames here. If you use the mouse wheel, it'll zoom in and out. I can't say enough good things about Clark Moody. I always have it open. All right, next. Okay, so this one, this is datamish.com. This is put out by a guy. He actually hangs out in a group that I'm a part of. What's his name again? You uncle? Your uncle, sorry. Um, this is really, really nice software. I love it. Um, basically, it's just for analyzing BTC longs versus BTC shorts with the data from Bitfinex. And you can set price intervals or rate intervals here, like your time frames. So you can look here. You can see that currently there is 32,417 BTC longs versus 20,217 BTC shorts. So, I mean, why is this useful? I mean, if there's gonna, if there, you, you can spot squeezes. So like a short squeeze. If there's a lot of shorts still open and you know certain market conditions prevail, you can get into a situation where shorts are forced to cover, and uh, it creates an upward movement in price. So that would be one reason why you can watch this. You know, a lot of traders swear by watching BTC shorts and long. So it's up to you. It's it's one of the reasons why I have it uh, down here in my in my list here. Or on my on my crypto watch tool but okay so that's uh that's data mesh yeah next i mean i have to mention this because they are definitely the kingpin of coin listings and they're they, they've become a much much better software like they've just released a new version coinmarketcap.com and they've just released a new version which i kind of like it seems a it seems a bit uh, more fluid but most coins will have their first exchange listing with coin market cap i think you have to have like five btc in volume i can't remember what it is to get listed but yeah coin market cap is, a, is an essential tool i'll show you the best feature of it if you go to i'll just pick anything from the list here i'll pick a b chain one thing i like about coin market cap is you can look at the various markets and you can see or the exchanges sorry and you can see the volume on those exchanges for the day. So you can see that 32% of the of VeChain's volume happened on Binance today at this price point, 4.78. Very, very useful for drilling down. Sometimes you won't know where, you know, let's pick an obscure coin. Pick Ren, I love Ren. Um, 
I don't know where Ren's exchange, where what exchanges even support Ren. So let's take a look. Oh, okay, OKX. So then I can I can understand where to buy it, right? So that's why that's useful. You can see where the liquidity is happening. If you got to get rid of some Ren's or some coins, and um, yeah, coin market cap's useful. And that leads me to my next one, which is I just kind of found this one recently. This tool, this is onchaineffects.com. Onchaineffects.com is all about these filters on the right hand column here. Basically what it does is it lets you run all kinds of crazy filters against um, all the coins. And some of them are really interesting. Like you can look at all time highs, days since all time high, percentage down from all time high. I really like those ones. Um, you can look at like on-chain data, like how many, like the, the transaction volume, for instance, this one's useful too. Um, you can look at new issuance, you can look at fees over the last say 24 hours. This one I really find useful. You can see how busy a GitHub is, um, how many commits there are in a GitHub, right? So that's a good way to spot like vapor products, I would say, the GitHub repo data stuff. Uh, another thing I like is you can look at short-term ROI. You can look at what's the seven-day ROI, what's the one-year, 90-day ROI. You can look at it by year. Yeah, there's really a lot going on here. You can look at proof-of-work stake, proof-of-work coins, proof-of-stake coins, consensus coins. It's uh, There's a lot going on here, and you can get lost in this. But this is a great tool for, for the big data guys. All right, so the last one, or second last one I'm going to show you, um, this is sifrdata.com, totally free of course. I like to use this, there's a lot of stuff here. I like to use this to, for looking at correlations. Um, and a correlation is when two coins move uh, the same direction in conjunction with each other versus opposite directions. So here's the correlation matrix for instance. And with this, um, a plus one or a one will equal correlation and a minus one uh, will equal opposite direction uh, moving. So you're want to, going to want to look, and it's a heat map, so you look for something more more red, more hot, or more blue. Okay, so this is showing me that, oh, yeah, that's an example, BTC and Dash um, moving in conjunction with each other. Yeah, BTC, or Dash and Zcoin moving up together. Yeah, that's that makes sense. Over here you can see the VIX and the SPX, yeah, that makes sense because the SPX went up today and the VIX was down. So they're opposite correlation. Yeah, and there's a lot of other stuff here too. That's, this is just one thing to look at. You can check it out. There's volatility studies, lots of great data here. You can, you can get lost in this one too. Okay, so that leads me up to the last one we'll look at. So this. This is the only one, they have a free demo you can try for 30 days, I believe. And um, after that, I think um, you'll have to check out the pricing. It wasn't that bad, it was pretty cheap actually. So what this allows you to do is it gives you a trading front end, um, but it does a lot more than that. Um, the trading front end, this used to be called Leonardo Bot, and I used it when it was Leonardo Bot. I haven't used it in a while, but it was really, really quite, quite a steep learning curve but powerful software. And you were able to do things like uh, buy the coin when the RSI is at this level, when the MACD does this, buy the coin uh, when the volume is like this. It's it's quite useful, um, if, especially if you're, you're looking at setting up bots. All right guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick idea of tools that I use that are absolutely essential, that are free or mostly free or very, very cheap. And I think that's a pretty good list, but I'd love to hear what tools are you using that are uh, essential to your daily driving when you're trading. Put them in the comments. Um, like and subscribe for more videos like this. Cheers, guys.